Hello and welcome to part 3 of modeling latent variables in OpenMX. In this video we will be modeling a latent variable model with multiple latent variables. Before we do that we need to understand why we fix certain values in a latent variable model to 1. This is because this path diagram has one more unknown variable than equations. Indeed, any time we create a latent variable, we are adding another unknown to these systems of equations. To solve this, we fix some estimated parameter to 1 in order to have an equal number of unknowns and equations in our system. We can either fix a factor loading to 1, thus creating a latent variable that exists in the same units as the variable this path loads on, or we can fix the latent variable's variance to 1, this creates a latent variable which exists in standardized units. This same concept holds true when creating models with multiple latent variables. We can either fix a loading of each latent variable to 1, or we can fix each of the latent variances to 1. Notice that if we do this, the covariances between the latent variables are now interpreted as correlations. Let's create this model in OpenMX. First, we will load our data and set the names of our manifests. As you can see, we have nine variables. We are going to create three latent variables with these nine manifest variables. We will call these latent variables F1, F2, and F3. We will then create our model as shown here. The A matrix of our model only consists of factor loadings. These are the single-headed arrows going from our latent variables to our manifest variables. We then free these values and give them labels. Our S matrix then consists of the error variance of our manifest variables and the variances and covariances of our latent variables. Notice that we fix the latent variances to be 1. This turns the latent covariances into correlations. Finally, we finish with our filter matrix and means matrix. Notice that the means of the latent variables are set to 0 in this model. Now let's run this model and determine its fit. We will again be using MX ref models. It appears that our model ran without problems. Looking at the chi-square test, we reject the null hypothesis that this model perfectly fits the data. However, chi-squared is sensitive to large sample sizes, and we have 300 observations in this sample. A better alternative would be to look at the CFI and TLI values, as well as the RMSEA. Looking at these values, we can say that our model adequately fits our data. Thanks for watching.